What's good family? Welcome back to the garage and welcome back to video number three of the interior swap series for the F34 GT. In the last video, we got all four of the door cards put on after buying some clips from BMW after they famously snapped off, taking the old door cards off. The garage is in shambles, but the only thing we have to do now is put in the back seats. I got the car backed in, battery disconnected again. I took the car for a quick drive last night. It definitely feels a little bit sportier driving in a car with red interior. I examined the seats last night and it actually looks like this is going to be much easier than i thought it was going to be the side bolsters will just pop out with some clips there'll be a t50 here a t50 here the butt part of the seat also unclips up and out and then there's this little rod thing that holds the other side of both seats before i throw these in i'm going to see if i can get rid of a little bit of waviness up here and this crease down here just going to use a blow dryer and some leather conditioner now let's get to work because it's time to finish this up Thankfully, it's not that bad. This is as good as I'm gonna get it right now. Let's go ahead and throw these in. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the bottom part of the seat. It's clipped in in the back by one, two, three, four clips, and then one, two in the front. I'm just gonna lift up under here. There's one. That's two. Stick our seat belts through. So we got some goodies up under here. Gum wrapper, a pharmacy card from Houston. That's where this car originated from. Found an Allen wrench, a screw, one of our child seat covers. There's a T50 holding his seat belt in. And that'll come out this way. Remove the side bolster. If you look at the new one, you can see at the bottom, there's two hooks that it clips into and then one clip up top. You should just be able to pull it out. Now, in addition to letting the seat down, removing this trim piece right here is gonna make it so much easier to remove and reinstall the side bolsters. I wish I would've tried this before I took them off, but I think it'll be nearly impossible to put them back on without popping this trim piece off. It's held in by a little clip here, little clip here, and a little clip here. If you just pull out on it, it'll pop out. Last side being sticky. And these are the three clips that I was telling you about. One, two, three. Should just be able to lift up. That was rough. I already did the left side. This is what that clip looks like. When I pulled it off, it actually came out without this plastic clip. Just the metal bracket looks similar to that one. So I popped it back in. This top clip here pops into that hole. And this metal prong goes in this hole. And this one goes right here. There we go. Now the seats are still latched at the top. They're not going anywhere. But before we take them out, we need to go ahead and disconnect this cable. And I can just go in with a trim tool, pop that side, pop this little door open. And you can see the latch right there. Real similar to the door locks on the door handles. We'll just pull it out. And the same thing on this side, the door just latches the other way. Pull it down and out. Now we're gonna take the single seat out first. We'll go ahead and unlatch it. Hey, the larger seat's gonna come out the other door. Latch, pull, I'm gonna rock it down. And we'll just pull it out of the middle piece. Now to put the double seats back in, this is that middle piece I was talking about. And that pokes right through there. Definitely gotta vacuum this real quick. Heavy part first. I'll put that in so she doesn't go anywhere. Let's go ahead and do the other side. You see that peg sticking out. If you check out the other side of this seat, that's where that peg goes into. Put this T50 back in. That latched. Now on these seats, I have an additional connector right here. I'm guessing it's for rear heated seats. I tried to Google these numbers, but I couldn't really find anything. If you can confirm, drop a comment. Now 
That works. Can't forget to bolt this seat belt back in. <laughs> the back latch works fine. That works fine. Let's go. Now we can pop that trim piece back in. You just want to line it up right there. That's in. A good push. Let's go get this seat bench. And now the super fun part of putting these seat belts through these holes. This is the tricky part, lining these seat belts up. Hey. Okay. And then we just gotta, oh yeah. Oh yeah. And the last piece to the puzzle, the child seat latch cover. Yes, sir. Yo, I really hope you enjoyed the series as much as I did. Definitely my biggest DIY yet. I've always wanted rest seats in my car ever since my 328 GT. As you can see, I'm drenched in sweat. I smell like a mechanic after a long day's work. The car isn't the only thing that needs a wash. So I'm gonna go take care of that. And the next thing you'll see is a clean GT with red interior.